Yo guys, what's up? I'm here for more Wind Waker. In this episode of Wind Waker, we are going to be um, finishing up this dungeon, hopefully. I say hopefully because I'm not completely sure if I am going to be finishing it up. But I'm going to say hopefully because I really don't want to spend another episode <laughs> on this place. Like, this is the third already since I completely failed. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to head to, head to get the next uh, treasure shirt. So, it's in here. And that's not it. But with your bow. Oh my god. So hit that with your bow if you can. <laughs> and well, there's like a treasure shirt. Then I'll just be returning to where I need, you know, in that place in the dungeon. Um, after I get this, so... I'm just gonna be talking about random crap. Ow. So anyway, here's the church chart. Um... Nothing too useful. I think it's just like 200 silver rupees or something stupid like that, but... Um, so, interesting things. Um, I figured out how to hack and stuff. Using utility of time. That crappy program. Um, so I figured out how to hack and that wall is funny. It looks it looks funny. So I figured out how to hack and stuff like that, so I will be doing it. I am working on a full game hack. And that will be out um probably in like two, three years. Depend it depends if I like am really de dedicated. I am kind of dedicated getting it done, but I'm also not gonna just like, it's, it, I want it to get done. I'm, I'm almost done with the Deku Tree. I actually, I don't know it yesterday, so I'm almost done editing the Deku Tree and making, um, what I want with it. It's actually, it's actually really, it's actually really hard, and the puzzles are awesome. But I don't have an emulator downloaded yet, so I can't really exactly view it. So I can't, so I can't exactly like know what, exactly what it looks like, but uh, I'm gonna download an emulator sometime, probably like today, n t t this night, or tomorrow, so I can actually view what it's like, because I don't have one yet, but I think, I think it'll look good, I'm gonna have to make a lot of changes though. Oh my god, dude. Just like... What is wrong with this? Oh my god. So that's kind of what I want to talk about. That hacking and... That hacking, man. Jeez, it takes forever. Like, I mean forever, bro. It, it's like... It, it's hard. it takes a long time to, like, code in all the values and stuff like that. But, uh... It's a, it is actually pretty fun. Because I listen to music while I do it, since I don't want to just be sitting there doing that with, like, no sound at all. Oh no! Oh god. So yeah, that hacking, man. That hacking. So. so that's one cool thing that's been happening in my life. Um, what's another cool thing that's been happening in my life? Yeah, my uncle has come to stay for three weeks since, well, we don't live in the same state. So he's come to stay, uh, stay for three weeks, and it's he's a, and uh, we've actually been playing 2K, NBA 2K13, pretty much all day. And it's actually really fun. I don't know why I don't really... I like that game just because I can play with my dad and my uncle. But yeah, that's fun. Um, let's see, anything else? Anyway, so, you want to jump flash to the middle there, because if you don't, then Link will take, like, a while, like, it'll take, like, slow steps into the middle. And some, and some stupid crap like that. So anyway. I forgot exactly how many leaf pumps it was on. To actually get that to work, but I don't feel safe with pumping with my leaf on Z, so. Oh, well. Apparently I can't do this. 
I suck, but... You can also do the damage. If you don't get that, oh my god, if you don't get the leaf pump, you can uh, do a damage. Oh my god, you can do a damage boost. Which is actually uh, slightly easier, but... Well, I failed, but yeah, it's slightly easier than the leaf pump method. The leaf pump method is a little bit faster. It's just, it's just less inconsistent. For me, at least. Please? Yeah, there's a damage boost. Now it saves you time bringing the statues over here, so, yeah. I think the creators were kind of asking for that opportunity in this game. Because, um... If I could try those. I think the, uh... uh I think uh, the creators were kind of like, Nintendo was kind of like, asking for that opportunity, because of like, how much your, the bomb actually boosts you, and how much, and how high the jump attack is, so I think, I thought that was kind of like, one obvious thing that would be in the game, but the creators didn't really think about that would not really cause a glitch, but, oh, I didn't minus the roll. Jeez, dude, this, it's all bright. Usually it's night out here. I mean, so you just want to um, jump attack across these. Now these ones, you can jump attack uh, across those, but it's actually really hard. And you, and you don't get it most of the time, but if you do get it, then good job. <laughs> I thought this was from a game that was my dad. God, dude, he's loud. I mean, I've gotten much better at mashing, so you know. If you saw my zomb zombie having 1.0 thing. Yeah, I've gotten better. It's just that my V button's horrible and it's kind of broken. And I'm trying to mash, so it like won't respond all the time. My hand is like freaking vibrating when I do that. Yeah, I've been using Cosmo Strat since I was that awesome, but anyway, so here is the boss. Now, I believe you can complete this with uh Oh my god. I forgot how many arrows it was. I think it was something stupid like uh twenty seven arrows. Anyway, so if he's gonna do that, oh, well, I failed, but you can, uh, roll under him, and it'll stop him from doing that attack, if you can get it. So he just, he just completely stops. He is not, he is not letting me do crap right now. There, so after that happens, throw the bomb into his mouth, and he'll explode. Then you do the cycle again. I think it's actually slower to switch. Or if that's just my imagination, but I thought it was slower to switch, but... This isn't a speedrun. This is a let's play. Aw, oh, damn. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I haven't- I just now realized I haven't been talking. Sorry. <laughs> Guess I just now realized I haven't been talking. I apologize. <laughs> oh, come on. I just barely missed that. But I'm sorry that I haven't been talking. I just, I just kind of don't have really anything to talk about. But rather than this boss fight, and yeah. Boom. Now, I did waste that arrow there. If I would have gotten that arrow, it would have been perfect, but... Well, if you do run out of arrows, as you see, um, he, he gives you, um, some arrows, if you do lose them. But, yeah.
So there's those tower gods, TOG. Now this is a pretty short dungeon, I must say, when you're speedrunning it. 80% or 100% pretty much, it's really short. Unless you freaking fail at it like me. But yeah, it is pretty short all around. So you can actually do a zombie hover up here, then heal with your tingle finger if you have one. But I really don't have one. Um, and then you can ring this bell with your grappling hook early, but like it does nothing. But when you uh, do come back, like after you defeat the dungeon, then the cutscene will automatically start. And so that's a little stupid glitch with that thing. Also, my newfound matching abilities for zombie hovering can also help with text box skips in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. To get, like, slightly faster times, I know it doesn't... Like, there's one in Ocarina of Time that I'll be using in my glitchless run that I'll start soon. I actually did start it, but I lost some footage for some reason, I don't know. But yeah, some crap. <laughs> um, which will definitely help in my glitchless run. You have done well, Sightseek. I forgot his voice. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Propane. Bo Dang it, Bobby. Don't use drugs in. Like, this is me mashing casually. Yeah, that, that's me mashing casually. This is me mashing when I'm actually trying. Like, you can hear that, like... <laughs> Ridiculously loud. It's ridiculously loud. That's that's me mashing like casually. <laughs> and that is kind of fast. It's not really that fast, but oops. Uh, oh no, it's water. Look at Link's hat. We have a float to boat. Get it? <laughs> oh, it's all yellow and it's black and. What? This looks a lot like Hyrule Castle. Kind of, but like all cartoony. Hmm. This is strange. Hyrule Castle is under the sea? It's under the sea, under the sea. But this is really weird. This is like really weird, bro. Hold on, like, what? Hyrule is underwater. Let's take that into account. Hyrule is under friggin' water. It's, it's, uh, what? What? Let's, let's check out the castle, see how that's doing. Yeah, see, oh, ooh, um. Whoa, it's, hey, it's Link. Like, the actual Link, not this Link, because this is sexy, but. <sighs> it's not what I meant to say. <laughs> not what I meant to say at all. But, it's all, so, like, there's Zelda and stuff. It's so silent. Hey, Dark Nut. Hey, Dark Nut. Okay. Peace out. I'll see, I guess I'll see you guys next time when we figure out this mystery.